In this week's project, we built the Guardian Sword from Zelda Breath of Fresh Air. It's fully 3D printed and has a ton of NeoPixel LEDs. I mean, this thing is super bright and it just looks so awesome. So in this video, we'll show you how we made it and most importantly, how you can build your own. The sword is pretty massive. It's about 34 inches in length and has over 90 NeoPixels. Once I got it in the game, the first thing I thought was, wow, this is really cool, I have to make one. So the Guardian Sword can be found in the Chesquita Shrine located in the Tonoko Island. It's yielded by a Guardian Scout, so you kind of have to battle in order to get it. It's got a decent attack rating of 40 points, but like most weapons in the game, it won't last long. So at least this one will definitely last longer than the one in the game. Pedro designed the blade in Autodesk Fusion 360 using a bunch of different reference images from the game. He designed it to be 3D printed in several pieces so that he can connect them together using screws. The parts were 3D printed on a Type A Machines Series 1 3D printer. This one has a really massive build volume of 12 by 12 inches, so it's really great for making huge parts. We used translucent PLA filament because it's really easy to use and it'll let the LEDs shine through. We 3D printed the parts on a heated glass bed. Printing on a glass bed gives a nice shiny surface, but makes the part very translucent and it doesn't diffuse the LEDs very well. So instead we tried printing on blue painter's tape because that makes the surface look matted, which is actually a lot better at diffusing the LEDs. Here they are side by side and you can see how the one printed on blue painter's tape just looks much better. So there's six main pieces and four overlays that fit over the blade to give it that detail. The electronics are pretty easy to put together. We used a five volt Adafruit trinket, a USB charging breakout, an on and off switch, a battery, and a NeoPixel strip. These are mini skinny NeoPixel strips with a medium density. And the cool thing about them is you can cut them or solder several strips together to make custom sizes. In order to get the strips to fit inside the blade, we had to remove the connectors. You can do this by either cutting them off or desolder them from the pads. We really like using silicone coated wires because they're super flexible and they're pretty thin. So you'll need to cut, strip, and tin the wires in order to connect them to the NeoPixel strip. If you're new to electronics and looking to learn how to wire or solder things, you can check out our how-to solder video. Next, we'll work on the USB recharging circuit. You'll have to cut the trace to enable the on and off function. Then you can connect the USB charging circuit to the Adafruit Trinket. You'll need to connect the power from the charging circuit and the NeoPixel strip to the bat pin. It's easier if you insert them both into the pin and then apply the solder. We'll do the same for the ground connection. The data wire can be connected to any of the GPIO pins. After that, we can connect two wires to the USB charging circuit. Then we'll connect those two wires to the slide switch. You'll need to remove all the support material from the 3D printed parts. A pair of flat pliers makes it really easy to pull them off. Next, we'll need to connect all of the main pieces together with machine screws. Each piece has these little tabs with holes in them, so it's pretty easy to fasten them together. Some need to be inserted at an angle in order to be fastened properly. After that, we can mount the electronics to the handle. The built-in standoffs make it easy to secure the board so they're nice and secure. The slide switch fits inside this little holder near the top of the handle. You can just press fit it into place so it's pretty easy to get to. Now we can install the battery. This connects directly to the USB charging circuit. The battery fits in between these two walls so it's secured in place. We used Nitto tape to keep the NeoPixel strip attached to the blade. You'll have to position it so that the LEDs shine outwards. The strip is flexible so it can follow the contour of the blade. Once it's set in place, we can fit the other half over the blade and close it up. The two halves are tightly secured together with a handful of screws. Now we can add the detail overlays. These can be inserted into the little cavities along the blade, so you just press them into place. The detail overlays on the handle will have to be glued. Here we're using some E6000 adhesive. The last detail is this little gem. This goes over the hole in the handle and it just press fits into place. And that's it. Now we have our very own guardian sword. The thing I like about this design the most is that it's really durable. So you can swing it around and you don't have to worry about it falling apart. Using the screws to secure all the parts together was a really great idea. And it's also easy to take apart if we ever need to. 
Paige and I had a lot of fun putting this together and I hope you do too. All the 3D files are free to download and we also have a full step-by-step -step tutorial that walks you through the whole assembly so you can totally build this yourself. So be sure to check that out, links are all in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what we're doing, please let us know. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the Adafruit channel for new DIY projects every week. Also, if you're already subscribed, be sure to hit that little bell icon so you get notified each time we upload a new video. I'll see you guys next week.